Hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, I live in Tennessee. I've been a Republican. I mean, honestly, I've been stuffing envelopes for Republicans since before my feet could touch the floor at my kitchen table. Um, my parents are Republicans. I grew up in a county in Ohio where the Republican primary was pretty much the only election that mattered. Um, nobody was ever going to vote for a Democrat for anything locally, for sure. Um, I had cast my vote consistently for Republicans from the time I was old enough to vote um, until Donald Trump ran for president. Um, I knew early on that I would not be voting for him. I knew exactly who he was. I knew who he, who he was in the 80s and who he was in the 90s. I never watched The Apprentice because I knew who he was. And um, I looked really hard to find change in him when I realized he was the Republican nominee. Um, I looked really very, very hard. And the only thing I could find was more of the same faults I already knew about and new disturbing things, um, increasingly disturbing things coming out of his mouth. He um, wasn't evolving. He was getting worse. Um, I'm also a lawyer. And as I followed his presidency very closely, um, in the same way that you try to avoid to look at train wrecks, but for whatever reason, something draws you to, back to it. Also, just civic mindedness. Um, I followed him closely. I followed his tweets. I read the Mueller report. I watched all of the impeachment hearings. I am aware of the evidence that was presented um, as a lawyer, I can't imagine how we have gotten to a place where people just don't know what to believe when facts are presented and they dismiss them as fake news because that's what they've been told to do. Um, it's very, very sad to me. People I love are saying it to me. Um, I'm not out to be disagreeable. I don't hate Donald Trump. I just know that he is unfit and dangerous. He was never qualified and he has never pleasantly surprised me by showing that he is becoming qualified. He's not interested in learning. He does not seem to have a grip on any, on the facts that any president should know um, because he doesn't trust experts. He doesn't trust advisors. He values loyalty over everything. And he values image over truth. And I could never vote or understand a vote for Donald Trump.